This is Johnny Talks Toys. I'm Johnny, and today I got the awesome Lego Creator Modular Parisian Restaurant review for you guys. This is 2,469 pieces. It's 12 inches tall, 10 inches wide, so a massive set. This retails for $160. It's an expert build. It's really awesome. I really like it, so let's go straight to it and look at all the awesome details on it. And here's a look at the minifigures that come in the set from where. And here's a look at the minifigures that come in the set from right to left. We have the waiter, we have the chef, we have the artist, and then the couple on the end. They're going to get married in the set. He's going to ask her to marry him, and that's what the Lord of the Ring ring is for. That's like his wedding ring for her. So a very cool set. I really do like it. And here's a look at the little red scooter that comes in the set. It is very cool. I really like it. There's like a back view on it, another side view. So it's very cool. All right, here's a look at the first level of the set. Um, there's three different sections, so we have the first floor, second floor, and third floor. Really like the awning, Chef Albert, and the A is the Eiffel Tower, so very cool. And right here we have like the eating out dining area, so that is very awesome. We're going to do an overview too, there's some very cool flooring back in there. We, I really like the flower pots and like everything here is just very cool. Here on the side, this is a piece for a picture hanging inside. And the back is just amazing too, the little back alley. We got our little dumpster here, which is very, very cool. And we got some stuff in there, like some hot dogs you can see. We got two dog bones, which pop in there very nicely. We do get two hot dogs that go in there. And then we do get two cherries, which is very cool. And then it just kind of pops wherever you want it. You can put it right there. And then we have a garbage can right here with um, two blocks of cheese. And that's how the mouse is incorporated in, right back in here. Let me just pop this back on. So that goes there, and then we got the mouse incorporated right here. And then there's a big black box here, and they kind of put these vines here to cover it up. And it did work very cool. The vines add a lot of detail. Right here we have like the door to the kitchen, how to get into the kitchen and take the garbage out and stuff. Very nice door, and I really like the awning. And a lot of awesome windows as we come throughout. Just very cool. There's like a side view. Looks awesome. And then here's a like a other side up front. We got the menu right there, which is so cool. We got like the dessert menu, Just, that's the stand, and then here's the menu. It says like dessert on it, and um, a whole bunch of other stuff, a French word, entrees. So very cool, and it just pops right back up onto there, onto the stand. And then we got the little bench here, which is cool. We got some flowers, or re I really like those glasses that are there, and we got a light here. Before we go inside, I wanted to show you the cool floor on the outdoor patio. Just thought that turned out very cool. All right, now we're inside the restaurant looking at it, and it does look amazing. Really, really cool. We got the built-in wine cabinet there, which is awesome. We got that picture of the wall. It's the generic sailboat picture that Lego does. And then we got these awesome, like, table or booth areas, which turned out very cool. Really like the window treatments, the blue curtains. They're just amazing. And then we got these awesome red lights on there, which are awesome. Those little lamps right there. And then in the kitchen area, we got um, a red flower pot. This is like the hostess stand where you walk in and they seat you, which is very cool. We got a big turkey. We got a stove there. I really like the blue tiles they did in the kitchen. You can see how it kind of transitions into that. And then on the back there, lots of detail. Um, we got an opening fridge right back in here, if I can get it open. It does open up. And there um, is stickers in there, which is awesome. And then in here we got big butcher knives, a rolling pin, some extra plates. So that did turn out very neat. And then on the back there we have a clock. We have some desserts, a sink. So the first level is very cool. And then we have a broom. And then there's that back door alleyway. So this is very cool on the first floor. I'm very happy with it. There's seating on the first floor, kind of second floor. These are the stairs that go up right here. And then it comes up to the seating. We got these cool lamps. I really like the flowers that are hanging off the lamps. Just It looks very cool. They're held on by those little pieces, and there's like a close-up on it. Um, They're hard to get back in place, but they do go in. And then I really like the bottles of um, water or wine or whatever it is. And I really like the little tables they did up here in the blue color. Just very cool little patio to eat at. Here's a look at the second part of the modular. It's very cool. We got these um, awesome window treatments here. I really like the flowers. The little balcony is cool too. And we got the fireplace chimney area extended, which is awesome. Here on the back, we have the door into it. So that is very cool. We have like a little door to get into the little living area. And then this is stairs to go up to the next level. 
And then this is like a little balcony area right there. And then here's like a side view. Here's like the little gutter area, which is very cool. So this is a very cool second story, but the inside is even cooler. All right, now we're going to take a look at the inside of the apartment area of the modular. Um, right here we have like the little fireplace area right there. We have another one of those red lamps with the red shades. I really like that. A little coffee table, a swivel chair right there. So that's very cool. And then there's like an inside view of the window treatments. Right here we have like a little breakfast nook area. Very cool. We have a cool little kitchen over here. The top cover, the stove, a little fridge down there below the stove, some um, counter space and some storage. And then right here is the coolest part. Um, right here that folds up is a fold up and fold down bed. So the bed folds down and then it folds up. So that is very cool. Really like that. There's the door out to the balcony area. And then right here is the door to the other balcony area. And then we got this door, um, like the front door. So this is a very cool little apartment. I really like it. Third floor of your modular and it is very cool. It has to be my favorite floor. I really like all the detail, the blue roof, how it's all scattered. And the blue roof does look really good with the white. It kind of makes it pop. This is awesome detail right here and right here. These are two awesome detail features. I really like that. And then under there is all individual Lego feathers. Um, it's really hard to do, but it does pay off because it looks awesome. Here's like a side view. And uh, again, the fireplace look, all those May bricks. I really like getting those. Here's like a back view of it. It's very cool back here. Really like the uh, flower pot, the light fixture, the awning, um, the building look. We'll go inside in a second. And then here's another side view. So it does look really cool. And the cool part about this is um, the top doesn't lift off. This folds up or down. It folds down into a little art studio. So this is where the artist is. Um, back in there, there's nothing. That's just all empty space so you can access it. But um, right here is where all the magic happens. We got the awesome little easel, which is so cool. I really like that easel. Very awesome, and it does snap in there, so that is very good to have. We got um this little painting tool. I don't know what it's called, but it is very cool to get. We got like a canvas back in there, um, of what the artist has painted. So like a painting, and then right here we have a fireplace right there, and it does open up. So you can have fire and it does close. So that is very cool. And then this just pops right back up and it really does look cool. This is my favorite floor on the building. So let's put it together and I'll show you the whole thing put together. We're going to do a 360 view on the building. Very cool. There's a front view on it. I really like that little window right there. Here is a side view of it all put together. I really like there's the staircase. There's the patio you saw. Here is a back view of it. So we have the dumpster here that you saw, the little back area, and then the little access to that. So that's very cool, and you can still fold this down when it's all put together. So that is another plus. Here's a side view, again, and then there's another front view. So it really does look amazing when it's put together. Alright, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing set. This is my first modular, and I'm so glad that I bought it. It's just so cool. I mean, I really like everything about it. The five minifigures are awesome. It's just so cool. The scooter's cool. Just, it's awesome. I'm so glad I got it. I mean, I really like that top part awning area. That awning area. I really like the roof. I mean, it's just so cool. I could go on for hours about how awesome it is, but it is really awesome. Lots of detail in it, and it's only $160 for all this. For $160, you get a 12-inch by 10-inch Lego set. That's just so cool and very detailed. And leave a comment and let me know what you guys think of the set. And this has been Johnny Talks Toy Sanctuary watching.